Jakobu. Well friends, today we'll talk about stories. Story is the most significant element of life. So let's start from a story from jail. A prisoner is writing that story. He is writing that in jail we are getting half cup of boiled water. If you uh, use that water for making tea or you can use this water for washing your mouth. If you use that water for making tea, you didn't able to wash your mouth or if you wash your mouth by that half cup of water, then you don't able to make tea. So that is the very, very keen reality of India. This story is written by famous Ho Chi Minh. Uh, famous freedom fighter and communist leader Ho Chi Minh uh, written that story. So let's come to the India. Let's come uh, uh, to the situation of India. In that two, uh, stories context, if you see our country, then you will find that every poor is facing this type of crisis. If they get half cup of water, the two choices are only one choice is opening for him or her. If he or she uh, can make tea with that water or her or his mouth by that water. So if we get roti, we didn't get democracy. If we gave to get democracy, we didn't get roti. That is the vast question of India. So from roti and democracy, if we watch from the point of from the point of roti and democracy, if we watch today's farmer agitation, then we will understand certain beautiful things. So let's come to the point. The Honorable Supreme Court said that uh, they gave a stay order uh, to this uh, farmer's law. And Honor Honorable uh, Supreme Court also criticized the role of center uh, uh, to dealing that problem. They also criticized the role of center uh, for dealing this problem. And in an argument with uh, Mr. Venugo Attorney General, with the argument of, with Mr. Venugopala, the Honorable CIG Chief Justice of India said that that we are giving you a long rope, so didn't give lecture. So we are uh, so don't give lecture about patience. When Mr. Venugopala uh, in his argument uh, said that uh, Supreme Court is hardy about uh, stay order, then uh, Honorable Justice said this. And Honorable Justice, uh, the Supreme Court, Honorable Supreme Court also said that they want amicable settlement, so uh, Supreme Court made a committee. And I have immense respect about Supreme Court, I have immense respect about the Indian Constitution, but there is a question comes, everyone is asking a question. If that committee uh, after fa after finding all the facts, if that committee says that these three bills, this farmer uh, bill is okay, then one of what will happen? So farmer uh, farmers are rejecting the proposal of that committee. From this pr perspective, uh, you can understand today's new liberal politics. Yes, I'm not, uh, no, I'm not telling that I have an immense respect about Supreme Court. I'm not telling that Supreme Court is a new liberal organization. I am telling that in new liberal uh, economy and politics, you will find numerous of committees, you will find numerous of literatures, you will find numer numerous of research papers, all are providing information, all are dealing with poor. But abject uh, poverty is growing. How, why this happen? When you are writing about poor, poor, poor people, when you are dealing with the poor people, when you are making a research paper about poor people, after then, why the abject poverty is growing? This is a central question of, in my opinion, new liberal politics. New liberal politics is a politics of words. So, in today's India, you see numerous newspapers, you see numerous channels, you see all the things, but the main thing is work, the abolition of poverty is somehow stopped. And from there, you will find 
a beautiful conflict between new liberal politics and yeah, the concept of Indianness. So, concept of Indianness comes from uh, anti imperial struggle. The concept of Indianness comes from anti imperial struggle, anti colonial struggle, and these all struggles are beautiful manifested by uh, their own languages. Mahatma Gandhi edited four papers, Horizon is one of that paper. I have uh, numerous debate with Mahatma Gandhi, but he is a great leader. He, uh, and he is a great mass leader. We have to, we all acknowledge that. So Mahatma Gandhi uh, published four papers. In that paper, the main argument of Mahatma is that our main enemy is poverty. But in uh, in new liberal politics, you didn't find about a single word in politics for removing the poverty. In 70s, Indira Gandhi said that Garibi Hatao, that is a, that is a, that is a beautiful uh, coinage, that is a beautiful coinage. And in that coin, uh, but in today's India, you didn't find this type of coinage, that is a very straight coinage. I didn't support the politics of Indira Gandhi, but uh, what she said, I'm telling only that. But in uh, today's India, you didn't find any uh, that such of words that are that such of state words against the property and uh, the main thing is that not only that in the new, uh, new liberal politics you will find that every government when you are criticizing a government about uh, their conduct about their uh, uh, failures about their uh, uh, corruptions you are only uh, commenting your voice but if you in the power, what you will do, uh, these political parties, uh, they don't say that. Let's come to Bengal. In Bengal, Mamta Banerjee's government has numerous faults. We all agreed that. But if the main opposition party, BAP, comes, what they will do, they didn't tell about your words. They only complain about the Mamta government, but what they will do, they didn't say that. So this is the politics of new liberal age or new liberal era where words are more powerful not the work in this era we are watching a new kind of journalism in Mahatma Gandhi's journalism the main notion is not the advertisement not the profit main notion is nation building Mahatma and Rithik Ghatok uh, those two are two different genres in Rithik Scottok's films, you also find a new wave of journalistic approach. In his film, you will, uh, you will find that uh, the all characters are questioning the profit, profit orientation of the society. And when they are questioning, questioning they are making some new statement, statements. So that is a new journalism in our films. That is a uh, in my opinion, that is a uh, new journalistic understanding of India. I am not telling that uh, Rithik Ghatak make journalism in his film, but I am just telling that what Mahatta did in his journalism, Rithik somehow rejecting the Mahatta's ideology follow that path because he wanted to make new observations. He wanted to make a new India. He wanted to abolish the poverty. So, in Mahatta's, in Mahatta's journalism, journalism is a activism, not a play of words. In Rithik Ghatak's films, uh, the national building is activism, not the beautiful scenarios, not the short taking <coughs> ethics. So, we are finding a beautiful activism in uh, both of uh, in them. Ritte, I choose these two names very cautiously because what <coughs> in the ideological platform Rithik is in another pole, Mahatma Gandhi is other pole. So I choose them. So uh, from there, I hope we will find a beautiful tuning of the Indian understanding. India is a, not a country of words. Well, uh, par, uh, what uh, Karl Marx said that about uh, uh, Parliamentary democracy. The parliamentary democracy is like a talking shop. Indian journalism is not a talking shop. It is a 
what is the, it is a movement movement against poverty and movement for humans emancipation but in the journalism in today's journalism specially i will take a name i will take the name of a respected uh, republican tv uh, tv's main face respected arnab goshami republican tv what is doing they are only preaching that you are anti national they are only preaching the high tone of voice but they are not concerned about the abolition of abject poverty they are not concerned about the democratic fabrication of our india they are not concerned about how people will survive in new liberal in the era of new liberal politics they are only preaching the jingoism yes oh by the way in personally all of gosham is a very good journalist but i am not preaching against him i am preaching his ideology uh, i am just asking uh, i am just questioning about his ideology so <clears throat> the republican tv is coming in bengal coming in uh, coming in bengal so we have a challenge we are now we we have to take this challenge that what arnab goshami did is that journalism is that jingoism the language of jingoism is it a journalism in india in which path we will go the path of mahatma gandhi the path of rithik kumar ghatak or in the path of arnab goshami you have to ask yourself that question and in this scenario i am telling that we are all the small youtubers who have only 70 80 90 <laughs> subscribers they are also taking a new challenge they are challenging the conception of arnab goshami's journalism they are challenging the conception of jingoism so <clears throat> who uh, so you have to be very cautious about that you have to understand what is journalism and what is not journalism so here today i stop i hope you watch uh, you enjoy this program very much and you will give your uh, opinion about that regarding this program and i hope you will subscribe this channel so today here i stop